Shadow! I don't know why I was facing that way. Uh, boop, boop. Okay, that didn't help either. Okay, Shadow! Oh, Judgment! Sorry, Air Signs, you're last this time. Sorry for those cards popping up. I don't know what that was, but we're gonna see your Shadow of Judgment. Healing a broken heart for you guys. Three Swords Reverse. That's your card for today. Well, this week. This is for the 19th to the 26th. Air Signs! This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter! Check your charts, ladies and gentlemen. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game. You don't gotta believe in it. Even if it sounds correct, right? Doesn't work if you don't. Oh, air signs. Sorry you're last, but everyone gets one, you know? Let's see what's going on with you. This beautiful week. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, right? Right. Okay, Gemini, you're up first for your shadow. Oh, with Shadow Judgment, this is where we look at the nuts, the crannies, the circles, and the square corners of what's going on around you, the subconscious, the uh, things that you don't know what's going on. Maybe even your shadow side. Mm, Creeptastic, right? Not really. I try to make it sound that way, but I'm not very good at it. But I try, damn it. Gemini, it's up for you. You first got... Oh, you're moving to calmer waters. Hell yeah. Get somewhere, man. But you're, but you're also kind of like, you know, fucking around <laughs> well past your prime. It's like you're wanting to go, but the boat's getting ready to leave the dock. Did you know that, like, I found out this when I went to, like, Myrtle Beach last year for my vacation. Like, did you know that sailors are really superstitious? Like, and, like, I got really curious about the superstition. And I started asking this one sailor, and when I did, you know, like, he started thinking that I was flirting with him, which worked, because then I got, like, free sodas, and it was like, all right, cool. Um, significantly older than me, but and it's a weird story, but it was a very interesting tale. But it was like, yeah, sailors are super superstitious. I can see why you're hesitating. Yeah, yeah, I understand that completely. Yeah, you want to move on to new love. You don't want to be betrayed anymore. Um, you're stuck here because you got a lot of shit on your brain. But that's not new for you guys. You guys always are going back and forth with shit. Ew. That's your. That's kind of your card too. Doots, 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 Gemini! Actual fuck, yo. You guys aren't switching back and forth on shit. I'm kind of surprised. Usually there's like a back and forth with you guys in the reading somewhere, but it's like, well, there is, but not the way I was expecting. Um, over here, you're hanging out, like, being a martyr, like, wasting time, because I'm, because, I don't know, like, you're tortured, but you're not coming out and saying it, you're just putting it off, because you don't want to make a decision, right? Or you can't, or you thought of new shit to think about, and then it just was like, well, what about this? What about that? Ooh, but what about over here? You know? Crazy tasty, right? Now, over here, you're wanting to move on the calmer waters to get new love, but it's not happening for you. It's like you got away. Like, you felt betrayed about a door being slammed and shut in your face, and you thought it was unfair. Or someone did it to you because they thought there was some unfairness between the two of you. Hmm. What are you waiting for? You're waiting to fight. Okay, you're waiting for a petty fight. And... What your choices are when it comes to this fight. Like, you're going over in your head how you're gonna, like, argue with somebody or some shit. Hmm. I don't understand why you're waiting to argue with somebody, though. 
Why do you want to argue with somebody? Or why do you want conflict with someone? I, I like, I don't get, like, I understand, er, what, it, the, no, air, air. <laughs> I understand air signs can be really cutthroat and hostile when they want to be. But it's like, why are you wanting conflict? Why do you, why do you want this action to happen so you have options? Like, why are you waiting when this door has been slammed shut? When I feel like... Like, I don't even think it's you that thinks it's unfair. I think it's both of you that think it's unfair. Uh, but I think you're taking it a little bit harder. Oh, Geminis are like Virgos. Like, they could be dying inside right in front of you and they'll act perfectly fine. Motherfuckers will have a mental breakdown in front of you and still be lying, too. <laughs> but that's more... Well, that's more like Libra, actually. But I'm being insulting. But that's your shadow of judgment, Gemini. I feel like both of you are really upset that the door has been shut, but you're taking it harder than the other person. That's got that's definitely on your mind this week. Oh yeah, this is for the 19th to the 26th, in case I didn't say that, which I probably didn't, so. Working our corners, making sure to cover all the bases. Alright, Libra! Look at you. We're going into your shadow side this week. Terrifying. Ooh. Quite different, but very, very interesting, right? Right. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, Libras, for this week. What's your shadow? My loves. Ah, uh, you might feel a little bit broke. You might feel like you're carrying around an idiot with you, too. Here's Leo Sag. Aries over here. Someone's judging this predicament pretty well, too. Taking action from it. Moving forward from this predicament where they feel left out in the cold to where they can feel whatever. Um, they got some regret. Y'all got some regrets, but you're getting over that shit. And you're ready to use the king of wands to make a home. Or you're dealing with Leo who completes you. Yeah, you're ready to charge forward to um, a new beginning here. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> wow, look at yours, Libra. Oh my god, finally. You guys are actually having a really good shadow this week. Like, every time I read for you guys, even the whatevers, it seems like shit's always going wrong with you, and it just pisses me right off. Okay. Libra, I am so happy to read this shadow for you, finally. Okay, so you were broke, dealing with a uh, someone with a funky-ass smell right like they like they needed to be taken care of they were like a burden or whatever and you have regrets about that that you need to get over because they made you unhappy but there is some communication here you're trying to reach out might be dealing with an aquarius right or whatever you're ready to charge forward start with a clean slate and get the fuck out of this shit be happy on your own get your own pentacles and be like fuck the rest you are looking back on all of this very, very clearly, take, using whatever you gain from the scenario with passion to take steps to get you where you need to go. It might be a slow journey, but you're definitely going to make it there. You could even get an offer from an earth sign, or you're just offering this up, taking your pinnacle, or this person, wait, or this king of wands took his pinnacle and took off? But you still got nine, so fuck it. It don't even matter. Either way, you guys have a great fucking reading. Communication. What's... Or the star. What is this? Maybe you're tapping into some intuition. Um, you're not running to fight for anything. Because you got stuff to do. You're, like, you're not fighting for an imaginary world. You're looking out at the real world. Good on you, Libra! Yay! I'm so happy. You guys always have shit going on with you, and I hate it. That's your shadow of judgment, Libra. Good deal. Aquarius! What's your shadow, my loves? It's your turn. Last but not least, of course. Two seconds.
Sorry, I had to grab a new incense because mine wasn't working. Okay. Aquarius, it is now your turn for your shadow of judgment, my dears. Let's see what's going on for you. The Empress! Oh, look at you, all cute and shit, with your watermelon dress. Ooh, you have to leave that behind up throne of yours, Aquarius? Got some regrets, but you know, fuck it, you gotta take your two cups. Leave this ten of cups you once had. And start another couple of cups with someone else so you get the ten again. You are, hmm. It's like a mother who's spying. Yeah, you're trying to go to where you're happy. You might love this stuff. Hey, baby. But, you know. Shit happens. You're not even letting anybody know. Or you're ignoring your intuition about this. One of the two. Ace of Pentacles. Reverse. Hangman. Reverse. Magician reverse. Jesus Christ, Aquarius. Okay. Burdened. Not releasing very well. And yeah, okay. Let's see, Aquarius. What's your shadow? Okay, so you're let's say you're the Empress, right? When you're looking back on certain scenarios, you turn into a fucking page. Page of Swords particularly, which might be Libra in this as well, since like the Empress could also represent Libra. Also, Aries or Taurus, you know, anybody with the Venus shit in them, right? And it's like you're snooping and spying in order to just be like, I don't want this offer. I'm going to jump out. I'm not jumping out the 20-story window. I'm jumping out the 30th or the 40th. I'm going to make you at least chase me and run out of breath before I jump out the fucking window. You know, it's, it's like you're looking for reasons. Or you're looking for information to confirm why you shouldn't take this Ace of Pentacles because it doesn't look very good. And this is becoming a task that, um... Uh, It's just a task that's really just draining the fuck out of you, really. Especially when it comes to this separation with someone else. Like, either you slammed the door or someone else slammed the door. But there was definitely a separation. Maybe Gemini. But it's like, you want to get over this shit. But you're keeping it secret because it's like... If you don't... Someone's going to snatch that ass. Like, the magician right here is just right dab in the center. It's, like, manipulating bad shit to... Okay, all right, all right. You might be manipulating bad things to happen under the guise of, like, you still having regrets that this situation is over. Kind of like, you know, you still got that lingering anger. Um, kind of like an angry divorcee who's still, like, in love with her husband but is treats him like shit because she can't have him. Just like, if I can't have you, nobody will. And I don't know if that's you or if that's the person you're dealing with, right? And it's like you have to walk away in order to be happy. But it's like you're stalling. It's like you're trying to be a martyr in this while you're doing it. Trying to keep up an image. And it's like, no, no, no. Magician is just like, uh-uh. That, that, that's a bad idea. That's terrible. Because the door is slammed. And like now it's just becoming harder and harder to carry the burden along. What is this burden, anyway? Communication, that could be you. Or reaching out, Aquarius, that could be you trying to do something. You might also be trying to replace one person with another or something with another. And move forward. Hmm. Like you're trying to replace one thing with another. Like, this is spring water. I want to fucking Nestle. We're switching them, you know? What's up with this magician? Because now I'm curious, you know? Who is the magician? What is this finagleness? Fairness? Or balance? Independence. Independence. 
It's like you want someone to give equally to you or you'll just be gone. Like you might be expecting this person just to give you a little bit of money, but they don't know that like you have all the money. All of it. All of it. That might bite you in the ass, Aquarius, so please be careful. But that's the end of the readings for y'all. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want a personal reading, my description box below has all the information. If you want to like, share, subscribe, go right ahead. That's up to you. No pressure. Love you guys, and I will see you later. Take it easy. Bye-bye.